okay this is what i am talking about when they told us they were remaking percy jackson this is the level of quality i expected this is what you call a good show i'm not even going to lie to you i was on the edge of my seat it's blasphemy that we had to watch this on our tiny little tv screens and monitors this should have been in the cinema this was a perfect first episode to a series i might seem like i'm hyping this to no end but i really it deserves the hype avatar the last airbender dropped on netflix today and i tried episode one i didn't listen to any reviewers i did it myself and oh my god it was amazing let's start off with the beginning this show is way too popular so it was the best choice to divert from what was shown in the animated series we get to see how the airbenders were wiped out the whole concept or the whole idea was earthbending spies infiltrated the fire nation and got information that the fire nation was planning to attack the earth nation when in reality the fire nation was only planning to attack the air nation because obviously they were going to birth the new avatar and we see this take place in the exact same day ang found out he was supposed to be the avatar this was not confirmed in the animated series this was something new to the show and i loved it there was tension in this scene especially when you see the fact that sozen himself pulled up to the fire to the air nation temple and annihilated everything you see the real power of the comet but speaking of power we need to talk about how powerful the Earth nation was it was a good idea not just to wipe them out because of the avatar but because they were actually quite strong and with mastery alone could freaking fly i mean no freaking um bow staff no nothing he could just straight up fly with the air i never saw that in the animated series i like that because it never made sense how Zaheer from the Legend of Korra all of a sudden could fly because he gained enlightenment. Ang was flying as a kid with no staff. Jesus Christ, it was amazing to see. We also get to see the relationship between Ang and Monk Gyatso. They were like father and son in my own opinion. We see Monk Gyatso actually defend Ang's childhood. But nah, he's the avatar so he has to man up to that. And when he left Ang no. Ang actually broke out in tears because he wanted to remain a kid. Only for Ang to go take a ride to cool his head and the Air Nation attacks. Bruh, one airbending master was literally making a tornado. And because of the comet, all the firebenders were literally boosted up. So, Sozen came through and roasted her and turned her to dust. The fact that this show is so mature now, I love it. No, none of those childish jokes. I mean, their jokes are there, but... It is so, it is real. It feels real. Do you understand? It feels like something that could actually happen. Anyways, after all this, a hundred years pass and we see um, Zuko and his uncle Iroh. We meet Aang as he woke up from the comet. We've seen Kitara. We've seen Sokka. We even see Aang's first interaction with Kitara and Sokka. And again, the airbenders are too powerful. Because in the middle, because he couldn't find Appa, he starts to fly. Like, straight up starts to fly in the middle of the village, bruh. This guy is insane. I like the fact that they didn't dumb down his abilities like the freaking movie. This show feels authentic. I don't know why the creators of this project left it, but honestly, I'm in love. In the bending. The bending of this show is insane. Not just the fire, but the water and the earth this is just the first episode and i'm seeing so many cool shit do we even deserve something this good matter of fact it gives one piece a run for his money honestly speaking netflix has been hitting it because they failed the old the cowboy bebops they decided to make authentic shit and this show is fantastic it's better than one piece the live action i could promise you that even when Zuko pulled up to come get Aang from the village, it was iconic because there was a mad battle between him and Sokka. I mean, he whooped Sokka, but <laughs> I mean, he still put up a good fight. You feel me? And this is when you realize that fire is actually low-key fire, though. Because when I was watching the cartoon, I didn't see fire as that dangerous. I felt like you could just dust it off. But these people be blow-torching people. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, yes, I recommend this show because even the pacing is beautiful. 
you understand what I'm saying? Like, obviously, like, two or three episodes crammed into one, but you feel it. Like, you don't feel slowed down at all. Feels like something that should be in theaters. Honestly speaking, they shouldn't have dropped this shit all at once. They should have given it to us weekly. God damn. I felt like a child again. Go watch Avatar on Netflix. Netflix, you killed this shit. I recommend this to anyone who likes the Avatar or shows or movies or anything in general. You will love this. Bye, guys.